Greetings and salutations, and welcome to Go Engineer's brand new video series, Don't Mess With Your Mouse. My name is James Ortiz, and as an instructor in the Great Lakes region for well over 20 years, one thing I notice a lot of my new and older students do in all of my classes is they tend to waste time with their mouse, finicking with it. So we're gonna go over more efficient ways, better uses of your mouse. So, in the immortal words up. Okay, so in the immortal words of the video game character that I cannot use, who is famously said through a movie that they made in 1995, it has begun. Fast doesn't mean efficient, and efficient doesn't mean you have to be fast. I get students ranging from the newbie cat operator all the way to the guy that's been around the block with a lot of experience under their belt in multiple cat system. And one thing that drives me crazy is messing with the mouse. A lot of these users tend to whip their mouse all over the screen and we're going to go through a couple presentations to show you you don't need to. We're going to discuss the escape key. Is it your friend or is it your foe? We're also going to go over better mouse control slowing down to speed things up. Yes, I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but there is a point of slowing the mouse down. The mouse gestures. We're gonna go over the tool, how it's used, and how we customize it. We're also gonna talk about, oh, stay in place to stay safe. Do you really need to zigzag all over your screen? And the last one, there's no need to hit the escape key. I know it's kind of redundant from the first one, but it's kind of an important point. Is the escape key your friend or foe? So I get a lot of people that pound the heck out of that escape key whenever they're using SolidWorks. Matter of fact, I can always tell who my two deers are because I hear this all day long in my class. Ugh! They never hit it just once. So we're gonna talk about, do you really need to use that escape key? Can you get your job done without it? Why is James legendary in the Great Lakes region for despising that escape key? Well, my, my problem is this. When this goes, oops, I made a mistake, this goes escape and it's click, 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 click. Do you really need to do that? So the problem that I have is whenever you make a mistake, your first gut reaction is to hit that escape key and you keep hitting the escape key, but you're still in the same spot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over what to do when you make a mistake and not having to hit the escape key. So let's go take a look at the cell phone and see how we can get around those mistakes. Here we have a part model of it. And what we need to do is we need to add fillets to some of the smaller outer edges of the rubber casing. So what I see in the essentials class is I'll have a student that will turn the fillet command on, type in their value, and they'll start making a series of picks. And as you can see, we're picking on all these outer smaller edges. And I'll see him go through and I'll see him pick, 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 and they'll go through and they'll continue making these selections. But unfortunately what I'll see happen is that during their selections, they'll make a miss pick. And when they do this, they'll go, ah, and they'll start hitting the escape key. And escape, 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 escape. They never just hit it once. Then that kills the entire fill of command. So they'll turn it back on, they'll type in their value once again, and they'll go through and they'll reselect those edges that they already selected in the last operation. And back to the pick, 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 just like they did before. But as they're doing this, once again, they'll come in and they'll make a miss pick. Ah, back to hitting the escape key several times. What do we do? How do we get out of these errors? Well, let's go back and turn on the fill of command. We're gonna go through and make our picks again. But here, when I pick on that bad face, I'm not gonna hit the escape. What I do is I reselect the bad selection. So I come over here, pick on the face again with my left mouse. But you'll notice I'm not using the control key or the alt key. I just reselect it. Order doesn't matter. Once I realize that I have a bad face selected, I want to accidentally pick on two more, highlighting blue. Once I realize my mistake, again, I don't hit the escape key. What I do is I just come back and select those bad faces. You'll notice that I just grabbed two, three, and now face one. Let's go through that again. So it goes face one, two, three, and four. 
realize I made a mistake, I'm going to pick on two, four, three, and one, removing them from my property manager tree. Deleting our bad selections from the property manager. So here I grabbed two faces that I didn't want. So once again, inside of the feature manager tree, I simply select the faces, right click, and I say delete. This will then remove them from the tree. I can then proceed to move on and select my other edges. As I'm going through, Notice how I never left the filler command. I never escaped out of this. What I did was I just found my mistakes and I corrected them using the left mouse button, making it easier for me to go through and build my part. We now have all those fillets on those tiny edges.